Hi, I'm Andy. Listen, it's your first day on the job and there are tons of problems to solve. Before you get started though, let me make sure you know what you're doing. Let me tell you a little about how we do things around here. It's time for the order of operations. Listen, the order of operations are pretty simple. Let me show you how it works. Let's look at this one example. Oh no, what are you going to do? Whoa there, calm down. It's not as bad as it looks. You just need to process it in the correct order to get the right answer. First take a look at anything in parentheses. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Next, get rid of that exponent. 2 squared is 4. What's ne next? Well, multiply and divide. Just add and subtract the rest from left to right. And what do you get? 40! Oh no, Crazy and Sally, what are you doing here? I'm looking for the bacon. Did you see it? Oh, there it is! Oh, thank you, Mr. Crazy Pants. See you later. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's an easy way to remember the order of operations. It's easy. Just remember the mnemonic. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So you see, it's easy to solve long algebra problems. All you need to do is follow the order of operations. I lost the bacon again. <laughs> Thanks for paying such careful attention. And sorry again for the distraction. Now get to work!